Hey folks, I'm Larry Ladowski and today we have a treat for you. We show you an awful lot of ways to catch fish and how to catch fish, but we don't show you a lot of how to prepare your fresh catch. Well, we have a special treat for you. Today we're in the kitchen of Lloyd Lake Lodge, which is a special place because the owner of Lloyd Lake Lodge happens to be a culinary chef and he's gonna show us his favorite way of preparing lake trout. Right, there. Absolutely, and uh, we caught this one here this afternoon, and we're gonna do a salt bake on it. We caught it this afternoon, you cleaned it right shoreside, and how do we start with a salt bake? With a salt bake? Well, first of all, uh, we're not making supper. You are making supper. Ha! Uh, but I'll teach you how. Okay. So to start things off, uh, we have two eggs. Uh, they're broken up with three cups of water, and we got 30 cups of salt here. Sounds like a lot, it's not gonna be salty, trust me on this. So the first thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna ask you, is to take the water and the eggs, put in the salt and mix the salt together. Okay, I'm gonna do that. You tell them how you cleaned the fish. Cleaning the fish, a lake trout can be really tricky with Y bones and people are a little bit afraid of it. A lake trout is just like a northern pike, it's just like a salmon. To eliminate all that, to make it easy at home, all I did was I took out the gills and the insides of the trout. So the trout, all it is, is bones, meat, and skin. That, that looks like a lot there, but trust me on this one. All right, all my eggs are in the salt. All right, we need to mix all the salt together, and we're going to form like a wet sand. And I do that with? Your hand. That's tool. <laughs> Dig in, folks. Oh, wow, it is like sand. <laughs> I mentioned that this is your favorite way to prepare a lake trout. Tell us why. Because the way we're going to prepare it today, you can do it with any fish. You know, let it be a flounder, let it be a rock cod, let it be a trout, let it be a walleye, let it be a pike, let it be a whitefish. This method works for every single kind of fish. And uh, it's very, very uh, difficult to, uh, I guess you can say, screw it up. So it's Larry proof. It's Larry proof. <laughs> You're going to be doing this every second Sunday. All right, looks like we're all kind of mixed together here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the first layer on the bottom, the length of the trout. And we're gonna try to make it as thin as possible. And you wanna make sure that you get a pan the size but, of your... Of course, the pan the size of the fish you're going to, going to cook. And this one here, I would say roughly a four and a half pound lake trout. Will feed. This will feed a family of four. We're gonna do a little Japanese seasoning today. However though, uh, whatever flavors you like or whatever part of the world that you really, really wanna use, uh, you can put it on the inside of the trout and it'll flavor the whole inside with whatever you put in. You put it on the salt right we're, away? We're gonna put it right on the salt right away. And what we're using right now is furikake. And it's a Japanese seasoning and it's used a lot in Hawaiian dishes. And then we're gonna add some lemon slices. And we're just going to close it up. How does this differ, Derek, from a normal bake or a normal fry or whatever? With a normal fry or a normal bake, uh, you put it in the oven and you're always guessing. You know, is it cooked? Is the tail going to be cooked more than the thicker parts? And one side is always going to be overcooked. One could be underdone. And this will do it throughout one consistent bake. Wow. Okay. All right. So the next step here is we're going to take the rest of the salt and we're just gonna pile it on and make a dome. Do you have to make sure that you seal it properly? Yes, absolutely. And we're gonna add just a little bit extra on the belly part, because that's where the steam is gonna come out since okay. it was open. All right. Let's do a little bit more on the belly here since we got the little extra. Is this the most important place? The most important place to put extra, whatever's left, is on the belly, because that's where the steam is gonna to try to escape. And that's what we're trying to prevent. And what makes it not able to prevent it? Is, this, is salt just non-penetrable? Uh, with the egg that we put in and uh, with the extra water to make the salt wet so we can form it, uh, the egg will actually solidify. It'll solidify the salt and uh, it's just like mixing concrete. So we're casting the fish. We're casting the fish, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Pardon the pun. And excellent job. Nice. How, how difficult was that? That was not difficult at all. Uh, the next part is the toughest part of all. Uh-oh. I have an oven. Preheat it to 375 degrees. Okay. We need to put this in for 45 minutes. All right. We can handle it. All right, it's been 45 minutes already, and we're just gonna pull out the fish here. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna let it rest for 20 minutes, and um, 
Then we're gonna break it open and see what the prize is in the middle. Okay, Derek, so now we have it out of the oven. Everything's ready. How do we get it out of here? There's a couple ways you can do it. Uh, you can do it with a wooden mallet. But for us, we're at a fishing lodge. We're fishermen. Okay. We're gonna hit it with our hands. All right. This is so hard. It's kind of like a cast. And none of this will seep into the fish. None of this salt will seep into the fish. Oh, well, Larry, how did you do? Derek, I am a great chef. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, if you want, try this at home. You'll, you won't regret it. Or if you want to come up and experience a whole new way of preparing your fresh caught fish, come on up to Lloyd Lake Lodge, visit Chef Derek Uniat, and he'll help you to prepare your meals to a tea. I'm Larry Ladowski from Midwest Outdoors. We'll catch you later. <laughs>